Hidden treasures in nature, discovering valuable items, minerals, and treasures while fishing and camping. Hey everyone, Bear Grylls here. You know me, I love getting out into the wild, pushing my limits and surviving with nature. But nature isn't just about survival, it's also about discovery. And I'm not just talking about finding a new water source or building a shelter. Today, we're going deeper, exploring the hidden treasures that might be right under our noses when we're out fishing, camping or exploring. Think about it. For centuries, people have been drawn to the outdoors, leaving their mark on the land and sometimes those marks translate into lost valuables, forgotten artifacts, or even naturally occurring treasures. You never know what you might stumble upon when you're out there. It could be a lost piece of jewelry, a rare mineral glinting in the sunlight, or even a piece of history that tells a story from long ago. So get ready to embark on a different kind of adventure, one that combines our love for the outdoors with the thrill of the hunt. We're going to uncover the secrets to finding hidden treasures in nature, and who knows, you might just strike it lucky on your next outdoor escapade. Now, you might be thinking, lost treasures, isn't that a bit far-fetched? But trust me on this one. People lose things all the time, especially when they're out and about enjoying nature. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a fishing lure go flying off into the depths, never to be seen again, but those lures, they're just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine a family enjoying a picnic by the lake. The kids are playing, someone takes off a ring to put on sunscreen and boom, it slips out of their hand and vanishes into the grass. Or picture a hiker trekking through the woods, their watch snagging on a branch and falling unnoticed to the forest floor. These things happen more often than you might think. And the longer these items remain lost, the more they transform from everyday objects into hidden treasures, just waiting to be rediscovered. It's like a game of hide and seek that nature's been playing for years. And the best part, you don't need fancy equipment or years of experience to find these lost treasures. Just a keen eye, a bit of patience, and a knack for exploring those overlooked corners where lost items often end up. Think about the areas where people congregate, popular fishing spots, well-trodden hiking trails, crowded swimming holes. These are prime locations for lost items. Keep your eyes peeled when you're walking along the beach, combing the shores of a lake or even just setting up camp. You never know what you might find nestled amongst the rocks, hidden in the undergrowth or glinting in the shallows. It could be a lost fishing lure, a forgotten piece of jewelry or even a vintage coin that's been passed over for years. The thrill of finding something unexpected, something that someone else has lost and you've rediscovered is a feeling like no other. It's a tangible connection to the past, a reminder that we're all part of a larger story that unfolds in the great outdoors. Now let's talk about the treasures that nature itself creates. Minerals. We often think of mining as something that happens deep underground, but the truth is valuable minerals can be found in the most unexpected places, even in the areas where we fish and camp. Take quartz, for example. It's one of the most common minerals on Earth, and you can find it in a variety of forms and colors. From clear, sparkling crystals to milky white veins, quartz can be found in rocky outcrops, riverbeds, and even scattered along the shores of lakes and oceans. And then there's gold. The dream of striking it rich with gold has lured adventurers for centuries, and while finding a massive nugget might be rare, gold flakes and dust can actually be found in rivers and streams, especially in areas with a history of gold mining. But it's not just about quartz and gold. Depending on where you are in the world, you might stumble upon other precious and semi-precious gemstones, garnets, amethysts, opals, even diamonds, hidden in plain sight. These natural wonders formed over millions of years can be incredibly valuable. But even more than that, they're a testament to the incredible power and beauty of the natural world. Now, I'm not saying that every camping trip will turn you into a millionaire prospector. But with a little knowledge and a keen eye, you can increase your chances of finding these natural treasures. Look for areas where the earth has been disturbed, eroded hillsides, exposed rock faces, even the banks of rivers and streams. Chapter 3. Historical Artifacts. Imagine this. You're walking through the woods, enjoying the peace and quiet, when you spot something unusual half buried in the dirt. You brush away the leaves and debris and there it is, a piece of pottery, maybe an old coin or even a rusted tool. Suddenly you're not just in the wilderness, you're stepping back in time, connected to the people who walked these lands long before you. 
Finding historical artifacts is like uncovering a piece of the past, a tangible link to the people who lived, worked and thrived in the very spot where you stand. It could be evidence of an ancient campsite, a forgotten settlement, or even a battlefield from centuries ago. Think about the history of the areas you explore. Were there Native American tribes who once called these lands home? Were there early settlers who passed through, leaving behind traces of their journey? Understanding the history of the place can give you clues about where to look for artifacts. Old trails, river crossings, and areas with fertile land are all prime locations. Look for changes in elevation, unusual mounds or depressions in the ground, and of course any signs of exposed artifacts. Even a small piece of pottery shard or a rusted nail can be a window into the past. Now it's important to remember that historical artifacts are fragile and often irreplaceable. If you find something, resist the urge to dig it up or remove it from its location. Take pictures, note the GPS coordinates, and report your find to the local authorities or historical society. You'll be contributing to our understanding of the past while preserving these treasures for future generations. And who knows, your discovery might even rewrite history as we know it. Chapter 4. Sunken. Treasures. Now let's dive into the murky depths and explore the mysteries that lie beneath the surface of our ponds, lakes and rivers. Just like the land, these bodies of water hold their own share of hidden treasures, and I'm not just talking about the fish. Over the centuries, countless items have been lost to the depths. Fishing gear, tools, jewelry, and even more valuable objects that have sunk beneath the waves, lost to time and memory. Imagine a tackle box slipping off a fisherman's boat, a valuable ring falling overboard, or even a chest of gold coins sinking to the bottom of a river during a storm. These sunken treasures, hidden from view, capture our imaginations and fuel our dreams of finding something truly extraordinary. And while not every pond will hold a pirate's bounty, the possibility of discovering something lost and forgotten is always there. Now, exploring underwater environments requires caution and the right equipment. A good pair of waterproof gloves, a snorkel and mask for shallow water, or even scuba gear for deeper dives can open up a whole new world of exploration. When searching for sunken treasures, focus on areas with high traffic old docks, bridges, popular swimming spots, and areas with a history of boating accidents or shipwrecks. Look for changes in the lake bed, unusual objects, and of course any signs of metal or other materials that might indicate a treasure trove. Remember, safety comes first. Never dive alone, always let someone know your plans and be aware of your surroundings. The underwater world can be disorienting, so it's important to take precautions and explore responsibly. Chapter 5. Best Tools for Treasure Hunting Alright, so we've talked about the different types of treasures you might find, but what about the tools that can help you in your search? Uh, don't worry, you don't need to outfit yourself like a pirate with a shovel and a treasure map, although that would be pretty cool. One of the most useful tools for any treasure hunter is a metal detector. Metal detectors work by emitting electromagnetic waves that penetrate the ground. When these waves hit a metallic object, the detector will give off a signal, alerting you to the presence of something interesting. Metal detectors come in all shapes and sizes, from basic models to more advanced versions with different search modes and sensitivity settings. Choose one that suits your budget and the type of treasure hunting you plan to do. For underwater exploration, consider investing in a waterproof metal detector or a pulse induction metal detector, which works well in saltwater environments. These specialized detectors can help you locate lost jewelry, fishing gear, and other metallic objects hidden beneath the surface. Now, while technology can be helpful, don't underestimate the power of simple tools. A sturdy trowel or handrake can be useful for gently probing the ground or moving debris, while a sifter or screen can help you separate small treasures from sand or gravel. And of course, no treasure hunter should be without a good pair of gloves to protect your hands, a waterproof bag or container to store your finds, and a first aid kit for any unexpected mishaps. Remember, treasure hunting is as much about the journey as it is about the find, so get out there, explore and see what hidden wonders you can uncover. Outro happy hunting! So, there you have it folks. 
The great outdoors isn't just about breathtaking views and fresh air, it's a treasure trove of hidden wonders just waiting to be discovered. Whether it's a lost piece of jewellery, a sparkling mineral, a piece of history or a sunken treasure, there's something out there for everyone. Remember, always respect the environment, obtain any necessary permits and leave the places you explore as pristine as you found them. And who knows, with a little luck and a keen eye, you might just stumble upon your own piece of hidden history or natural wonder. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more exciting videos on outdoor adventures, fishing, camping and treasure hunting.